Lena attends the Airs tournament with her family. When the combatants break into brutish violence, she is visibly distressed, clutching her brother Lainor's arm. Five months following Queen Emma Arryn's death, Lena is proposed by her parents as a marriage candidate for King Viserys I Targaryen. They arrange a meeting between Lena and Viserys, during which the young lady asks the king about the dragons Valerian and Vagar. She also admits to the king that her mother told her, should he marry her, Lena wouldn't have to bed the king until she turned 14. Despite the political advantages of the proposed marriage, Viserys rejects the match on account of Lena's age, and decides to marry Alicent Hightower. Lena claims Vagar in 115 AC. In 116 AC, Lord Corlys returns to Driftmark from the war for the Stepstones, and begins negotiations to betroth Lena to the son of the Sea Lord of Bravos. An alliance between House Velaryon and one of the Free Cities is viewed as deeply troubling by the small council. No such marriage ever takes place. Soon after the beginning of the negotiations, Lena dances with Demon Targaryen at the wedding of Rhaenyra Targaryen and Lena's brother Lainor, and the two are eventually married. Ten years after Rhaenyra's and Lainor's wedding, Lena and Demon reside in Pentos and live there for some time alongside their two daughters, Bela and Rhyna. Lena suffers from complications during her third pregnancy. After Demon is informed that it would perhaps be possible to save the baby through the use of a caesarean section, Lena resolves to die a dragon rider's death, walking to Vagar and commanding the dragon to incinerate her. Vagar reluctantly complies, burning Lena alive in front of Demon. Lena is buried at high tide according to the customs of House Velaryon, her sarcophagus being dropped into the sea. Her eulogy is delivered by her uncle Vaymond Velaryon.